and I promised to cover the uh, IPCC report, or at least talk about it. And um, the way I see it, this is, uh, in many ways, this is uh, the deep state in a panic mode um, because Many, many smart people have already said um, a lot of good things about uh, how the the report is uh, is weak scientifically and it's uh, underplaying the the danger and, and the risk uh, and the speed of climate change. Um, and I think. Um, so that's, that's sort of the, the how uh, they got it wrong. Uh, it's been covered by Professor Wodems and other people. Uh, they'll try to go into a bit of why they got it wrong. And uh, uh, call me uh, disillusioned or whatever you want. Uh, but I, I tend to think that, you know, 30 years after the um, climate panel was created, I tend to think that they're not just you making casual, stupid mistakes over and over again for 30 years. Uh, there's something else going on than, uh, you know, people working for the panel getting it wrong all the time. I don't believe that anymore. I'm sorry. So uh, the deep state wants to keep running this sort of society uh, because of all the benefits for, for the elite and so they don't want to put regular people in a panic mode because they want to people like you and I to keep doing our thing and keep paying our taxes to them so they can uh, continue their party um, at the top of civilization and I must say I'm also um, a bit disappointed by even uh, great writers from from the uh, environmental movement like James Lovelock who authored the uh, Gaia theory, the book about the Gaia theory, and he's sort of on the same track as the uh, climate panel and the UN. Uh, Lovelock wants to build like 100 new nuclear power stations every year for the foreseeable future uh, in order to not to save the planet but in order to save civilization. So Lovelock wants to save uh, global industrial civilization for whatever it takes uh, and you know placing that many hundred new nuclear power stations all around the globe every year. That's sort of his solution in in ironic quotes. Um, I mean, now see the uh, IPCC and the deep state behind it um, and the big oil that wants to sell oil for as many decades as even possible. Uh, trying to sugar the pill and, and play down the severity of, of the climate crisis and basically just keep the wheels going you know for whatever whatever time it's possible um, so when it comes to saving the um, saving the biosphere versus saving the human industrial civilization uh, I come from uh, a different uh, way of thinking than uh, James Lovelock and the climate panel. Uh, I come from the Norwegian deep ecology tradition from uh, Arne Ness, a Norwegian uh, professor of philosophy in the 1960s and 70s and 80s. And uh, central to his philosophy which he calls deep ecology, is biocentrism. Instead of human centrism, you put the whole living planet or every living 
being on, on the planet uh, at the center of attention or at the center of your considerations and your thinking. Uh, so if I was uh, forced to choose between saving civilization and saving the biosphere, I would go for the biosphere every time because you know, humans cannot live in isolation without all the birds and uh, plants and uh, animals and um, uh, living creatures in the sea and everything. You know, it's like we're not an isolated lab animal that can live uh, on, on some gel or something from the scientists. We are an integral part of the ecosystems. And uh, so uh, I think all this talk about saving human civilization is um, it's just ludicrous. I mean, uh, even the green movement has succumbed to, to, to that way of thinking, to Lovelock's way of thinking. Um, it's all about us humans, you know, we can just screw the rest and, and just save save this industrial way of living um, and save civilization and then everything will be fine. But it's like, I mean, that's, the, that's actually the reason uh, Ness called uh, his philosophy deep ecology, because his way of thinking is far deeper where you actually take into account all the other creatures and all other living systems uh, while the regular green movement is is the, the shallow um, ecology movement in, in his uh, thinking and of course um, Arnenes was only the, the first western academic to write down these very common sense ecological principles that have actually been a part of uh, most tribal um, most tribal societies all over the, the globe um, but he's sort of the, the, the first western thinker who formalized it and put it into an academic context and published his works and, and that kind of thing so he's not uh, he didn't he didn't claim credit for the concept of, of thinking about the, the rest of the planet, and that's uh, much older than, than him, but it's, it's um, an important contribution to, to the way the Western world and the academic world thinks about itself. Of course, it's mostly uh, ignored even by the Green parties uh, in most countries because they, they still uh, have their loyalty deep inside the machine of the industrial society. Uh, and people like uh, Ness uh, and yours truly, who used to be on the same uh, uh, list, for the election for the Green Party in my uh, earlier hometown Oslo, we are more like considered uh, what do you call that? Uh, trouble, basically. We like trouble because we have principles. We believe in uh, conserving the ecosystems and the biosphere, and that's like that doesn't make for good elections. They believe in a way, so. Um, yeah, so I've covered most of that. Um, yeah, to, to sum up my view about uh, the climate panel and the new report and what they want to do, uh, I think they're just uh, playing the old delaying game, just delaying the inevitable collapse of uh, human civilization and in order to keep the profit stream coming in uh, for like I think they're talking about 12 more years now 
So it used to be 10 years back in 1989. But now they say we have 12 more years to, <laughs> to figure out our shit. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just bullshit. Um, I think uh, the best thing in a deep ecology, ecocentric, biocentric uh, way of thinking would be for collapse to happen as swiftly as possible, as soon as possible for global industrial civilization uh, in order to stop all the pollution, stop all the toxic uh, flows from uh, factories and toothpaste and whatever stupid thing humans are doing. And I think... Uh, Climate change has wrongly been termed as a problem, <laughs> while all the time civilization has been the problem, and climate change is the solution. So please subscribe to, to my channel and uh, tell me what you think about these perspectives in the comments below. Okay.